We've got Attorney Sade Crawford, Amy Lawrence, lovely, and uh, Sarah Austin. So this is something I feel like it's everybody's talking about it, the Idaho murders. Um, particularly, these were four college students in Idaho that, that were brutally murdered, and we'll kind of get into that in a second. But everybody, the whole country really kind of rallied against to find the, the murderer for this. Um, and I think, I feel like they found them pretty, found him pretty quickly. What do you guys think? Yeah. Was well, pretty quick. Quickly, but not too quickly. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. They did a, th a thorough did a job. job. Yeah. Well, and it was a hard task because it wasn't somebody who was immediately in the area. So it kind of took some digging, I feel like, but uh, they were on it. So <clears throat> let's first talk about what ha what happened. So, Sarah, do you want to? Um, from what I understand, this is probably like I'm not a parent, but every parent's worst nightmare. Right, right, and just yeah. everybody's worst nightmare. You're just. <laughs> sleeping in your house and someone comes in and stabs you. That's so there were my, it's four, four sure. college students um, in Idaho who were stabbed. I think the coroner's office came out and said three of, three of them were sleeping and one of them was probably awake. Yeah. Um, and and for a while they, they were didn't, all sleeping. First we thought they were all sleeping and then it came out that there were other roommates in the house. Right. Um, but they were all four killed and then the police, I guess we found out later, had been investigating this whole time. But I think what brought so much attention to it is that they did not catch anyone. Right. And then they said it was a targeted offense, but then they didn't know if it was a targeted offense. And so everybody was kind of up in arms, like how can this killer who just did one of the worst crimes be out on the loose? Well, and you have the whole community freaked out, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, there's somebody that's gonna come into our house because they haven't caught this person. And so police kept asking for more and more details. So we, we weren't sure if the police had any information because they kept saying, Well, hey, they played stupid, right? Yeah, yeah they let did. Us really know did. Which was know amazing anything. on their part. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, that's really smart that they kept all of the intricate details about how it happened close to the chest so that it's not being released, mm -hmm. so that someone can't call in mm -hmm. and start giving all these details that's already been released on the news. You know, just like the originally mm -hmm. they thought that um, the other roommates who were in the home, they originally said that they were sleeping at the time. Right. Uh, we later find that one of the roommates was still awake. They were actually door dashing some food at 4 a.m. Yeah. They were TikTok. on TikTok. Um, and one of the roommates said that they heard at about four o'clock in the morning um, one of the victims crying um, and being told by a man, it's okay, I'm gonna help you. Um, and then this same roommate then seeing a man walk past her room in all black with a mask on and then leaving the home in a sliding mm -hmm. glass door, but that they were able to say, you know, 5'10", tall, well, she said yeah. bushy, bushy, eyebrows bushy eyebrows was a major clue that had right. they released that, you know, he might've changed his eyebrows right. or, you know, mm -hmm. other things come Very in. True. And so the, yeah. the police did an amazing job. And that there was a witness who saw mm -hmm. a white vehicle leaving. Mm -hmm like speeding yeah. past the home um, after the murders, essentially. Yeah. And there was a gas station that was right near their home and the gas station attendant went back when they, she heard about this, because I'm always positive it was a female, and she went back and watched all the security camera wow. during see, that night to see if there was any cars that they could see going past and she saw the Hyundai. Yeah, and, and so the police really did a good job. I think, like Trade said, and Amy, they kept it under wraps for good reason, mm -hmm. but that's kind of what drew all the attention, I think, for me. The scariest part was like, yeah. how could this happen and they not know yeah. anything? Right. So I'm really glad for, I mean, the victims' families and for, for everyone that, yeah. that they did that and now we've got. I think also, um, we talk about stabbing, but it's my understanding um, after the police have released more stuff is that it wasn't just like a stabbing, right? When we think of stabbing, we think yeah. of like, yeah. you know, it was like deep cuts slowly. Yeah. It was mutilation and it was, it was horrific. I have so many questions. I mean, this kind of morbid questions in my head, but yeah. to me, I'm kind of like, you know, so there's two people in each of those rooms, you know? So the, you went to the first girl's room and the girls were sleeping in the same bed together. And then same thing when you went to the second room, it was the boyfriend, girlfriend that were sleep, one was sleeping, you know, but I'm kind of thinking, what what was that like? I mean, for him to overpower both people in each room, I don't know. I mean, we, I'll be curious to hear we more of the details of how how they were what planned. happened, how that happened, yeah. why that happened. I mean, sure, I know that we've talked on on previous Murdoch episodes as far as you know, we don't always know why. Like we all, in our in our rational minds, we always want to be like, but why? Like, yeah. what for? You know. And I can only imagine, you know, the victims' families 
just wanting that answer, like, but but why? Like, what was your reason for this? And sometimes you just, there's not a reason, you know? It's just like mm -hmm. crazy. Well, sometimes people. the reason reason is is that you want to be a mass murderer, you want to be a serial killer, yeah. right? You you that's just what it seems. Want to like do that here. stuff? It definitely seems that like when they're saying that he contacted one of the victims on her Instagram and sent her a DM, and it's just like, hey, how are you doing? She doesn't respond. And it he keeps, keeps doing sending it, it yeah. keeps sending it. They're looking at his phone records. He's going on 12 separate occasions, to going house. to that house and at that location. And they said always in late night, early morning hours, Oh, Always he was definitely out planning. There. Yeah. You know, planning. Watching he was on the internet and things. sort of asking people how to do crimes. For me, um, well, it's, in, I don't think like the reason why he did this is because he's a psycho, wanted to be a serial killer. But it's like, why did you choose them. this house? Right. So I would say my, the scariest movie I've ever seen is The Strangers. Because at the end, Agreed. they're like, why? And they're just like, because you were home. It's like something that simple, you know? And so if like for those families to be like, why, why yeah. these girls? Yeah. Well, there was a serial yeah. killer. I can't remember it's if it was Jeffrey Dahmer, if it was one of the other, yeah. no, it wasn't Dahmer, it was a different one. But he would go door to door and just turn the knob. And if it was locked, he would move on. And if it was open, he'd go in and kill him. Mm -hmm. And it's just like stuff like that, that I'm like. That's like the scary stuff. That's and creepy. So yeah. I don't think we're ever so gonna creepy. get a reason to well, like, why, why this group of kids? Well, oh yeah, no. I think one of the things that, we haven't talked about, but I think it's important that we talk about. This was a, a guy who was, you know, the person who's been arrested, um, who was getting his PhD in criminology, right? Mm -hmm. Right. He was, you know, a piece of me thinks that he just wanted to know what it felt like to kill somebody, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. When he wanted to be a cop. He to feel like, to what does it feel like? Officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, and they yeah. said that his application to the police department said that he was specifically interested in um, doing like technology type issues with the crimes and, like and how to analyze yeah. technology, yeah. like that type of data. And so I find it interesting when they note that his cell phone is turned off mm -hmm. at like 2.48 yeah. and then it doesn't come on again until a couple hours later. Yeah. And so it like made it impossible to really say like that he was specifically at that house at that yeah. time. You know, but he didn't turn it off on all the other times that you're going to the house. That's no. Yeah, you know, and I did. I was reading. I forget. Someone wrote a whole article about not just him, but the victims too. It was really well written, but about sort of him and and the people around him and what they said. That he always tried to explain things in the most complicated way possible to make him seem like he was the smartest guy ever. Sorry, I'm just thinking about all the lawyers I know. I know, but for <laughs> that, so he was really trying to like outsmart everyone, you know, with this yeah. whole thing. And for me, it's just like. You, we talk about a lot murder. of words to say one thing. Yeah, right. and horrible investigations. And you talk about the police outsmarting this guy who thought he was like the smartest guy in the world. Yeah, because he thought they he really had, did he go track. His, I mean, the way they the way that warrant reads and they and they tracked him. It's amazing. They got the car license plate, and then they went and watched every body cam where he had a traffic stop and got his phone number and got everything about him so that they could go investigate where his phone was and all those things. And they really put it together without without him. I mean, even with him Anybody purposefully being, yeah. and trying to be too smart and get rid of all that evidence yeah. and hide things. When life gets ugly, justice is lovely. The love